Personnel of the Year badge and Philippine Marine Corps plaque is awarded to Sergeant Alric Jerome D. De Castro, Philippine Navy Marines, for his outstanding performance as Corps Man, Squad Leader, Special Operations Platoon, and Marine Battalion Landing Team 5, Philippine Marine Corps. Is awarded to Colonel Francis Raymond Martin Biulo, Philippine Navy Marines, MSA Reserve, in grateful recognition for his exemplary efficiency, loyalty, and devotion to duty as officer in charge, 8th Marine Brigade Reserve, and the commanding officer, 81st Marine Battalion Reserve, in Western Visayas, that significantly contributed to the successful accomplishment of the Corps' mission. Marine Corps plaque is awarded to Miss Evelyn D. Bosico for having been adjudged as the Philippine Marine Corps Model Civilian Human Resource Supervisor of the Year for her outstanding performance as Admin Officer 5, Budget Branch, Office of the Assistant Chief of Marine Staff for Fiscal Management. Marine Corps plaque is awarded to Miss Annalisa S. Kakbay for having been adjudged as the Philippine Marine Corps Model Civilian Human Resource of the Year for her outstanding performance while serving as Administrative Assistant to Marine Corps Finance Center, Philippine Marine Corps. The award of the Philippine Marine Corps Kahusayan Streamer and Philippine Marine Corps Black is awarded to 1st Marine Brigade in recognition of its outstanding performance and achievements from 01 May 2023 to 30 September 2024, thereby winning the prestigious title as the Philippine Marine Corps Brigade of the Year and the prestigious PMC Kahusayan Award. The Philippine Marine Corps Cow Science Dreamer and Philippine Marine Corps Plaque is awarded to Marine Battalion Landing Team 1 in recognition of its outstanding performance and achievements from 01 October 2023 to 30 September 2024, thereby winning the prestigious title of the Philippine Marine Corps Battalion of the Year and the prestigious PMC Cow Science Award. The award of the Philippine Marine Corps plaque is awarded to Honorable Cecilia Araneta Marcos, Vice Governor Ilocos Norte, for invaluable services and support provided. The Marine Corps or the PMC has stood at the forefront of our nation's defense, protecting the lives of our people, promoting peace and development, and asserting our sovereignty. Your unwavering commitment to duty, whether on land or on sea, has been instrumental in shaping the security landscape that we continue to build on today. As we gather to commemorate your 74th birthday, it is only fitting that we reflect on your distinguished history and honor the countless sacrifices that you have made in the service of the nation. Your contributions not only ensured our safety, but have also reinforced the very foundation of our shared future. What started as a volunteer group has grown into a capable force under the Philippine Navy and trusted with a, cr a critical mission to safeguard our maritime sovereignty, counter insurgency, and stabilize areas of conflict. From engaging communist insurgents in the 1950s to adapting to the evolving security challenges of today, your drive has never wavered. You have empowered our nation to confront complex threats and meet each challenge with greater foresight and resolve. In facing asymmetric threats, you have shown remarkable agility and focus, enabling you to execute high-stakes missions with precision. Undoubtedly, your specialized skills and tactical expertise have made you an invaluable asset in our fight against insurgency and lawless violence. When disaster and calamity strike, you also stand ready to bring swift relief and critical aid to our people. In these crucial moments, the Marine Corps steps forward to help us recover, striving to reduce the devastating impact of natural disasters on our communities. We recognize that the challenges you face now are growing more and more difficult to defend our islands, to secure our shores, protect our people across the archipelago, each one of these is a pivotal task, task that we can learn from and find fulfillment in. This is something I am very familiar with. I trained as a Marine back then. And, and at that time, I carried the weight of both pride and responsibility. A weight. I came in eager, perhaps a little intimidated and daunted, yet certain that the lessons would, uh, that I would learn here 
would last a lifetime. Joining this force transformed me in ways nothing outside of the military or of the Marine Corps could possibly have given me. The establishment of credible defense posture in the northern part of the Philippine archipelago. Philippine Marine Corps plaque is awarded to Honorable Tato Marshal Aysin Suwa, Mayor Tato Blasin Suwa, Magindanao del Norte, in grateful recognition and sincere appreciation of his invaluable services in support to the peace, law enforcement, and development support operations of the 1st Marine Brigade. When the path is unclear, it is our resolve and the quiet strength to keep rising, to keep moving forward despite setbacks that defines us. As we envision the Marine Corps as a specialized force for our littoral defense in the years to come, allow me to reaffirm the promise I made two years ago on this very occasion to provide support in advancing the mandate of your organization. We are committed to building a stronger and more comprehensive defense posture by investing in modern infrastructure, upgrading facilities, facilities that will boost our, your operations. We will continue to prioritize modernization, ensuring that your defense capabilities align with our nation's strategic needs. To the men and women of the Marine Corps, I enjoin you to embody the dedication and excellence that have long characterized the legacy of the Marines. Impart these values to the next generation so that together we can strengthen our communities, reinforce our people, and build a brighter, more prosperous future for all. As we mark this milestone, let us not simply trace our roots, but also celebrate the legacy of service that you have nurtured over the many years. Once again, my sincere congratulations to all, especially to our awardees and every Marine who has come this far. Let us embrace the present with renewed hope and resolve, steering towards a bagong Pilipinas where the Marine Corps rises as a formidable force in our shared prosperity and advancement. Maraming salamat po. Mabuhay ang Philippine Marine Corps. Mabuhay ang bagong Pilipinos. Ruha! Thank you, Mr. President. And now to present our token of appreciation to the President for gracing the 74th birthday celebration of the Philippine Marine Corps, may we request the Commandant Philippine Marine Corps, Major General Rojas, to present our memento for the President. The citation reads, The Brahmos anti-ship cruise missile is a supersonic missile renowned for its precision, speed, and versatility. The acquisition of the said capability represents the equipment of the Philippine Marine Corps in advancing military strength and bolstering coastal defense capabilities. A cap and a jacket. Thank you, Mr. President. We may now all be seated. Let's all sing happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, happy birthday. His Excellency, the President of the Republic of the Philippines, House Speaker, the Secretary of National Defense, the Chief of Staff Armed Forces of the Philippines, and the Flag Officer in Command Philippine Navy to proceed in front. The Commandant will cut the cake for the first slice.
present to the guest of honor as a symbol of the Corps' continuing dedication to the Republic of... the third slice and offers it to the house speaker Chief of Staff, Armed Forces of the Philippines, as a symbol of the Corps' continuous allegiance to the Armed Forces. The Philippine Navy, as a symbol of gratitude to the mother unit of the Corps, the Philippine Navy. <laughs> 